another video for those of you who may be new which I think most people are new because I've just launched this channel but my name is Sienna Martz and I am a fiber textile artist sculptor and new mom I have my 15 month old playing behind me in a little playpen so that's what you're hearing in the background I live in the mountains of Vermont, very rurally, and I bounce between my art career and doing digital marketing, and right now, <laughs> Luna, <laughs> I hope it's not too loud in the background, but today, it's actually a really busy week, busy time of year for me. Uh, I I just finished off a commission. Uh, I have submitted the images of the final artwork just to confirm they're happy with how it turned out. It was a pretty straightforward commission, which is nice. And so once they submit their final payment, pay for shipping, I am going to send that off. In the meantime, what I'm going to do today is work on the certificate of authenticity and just do some preparation for shipping the piece. And then I am also launching these tiny little micro mini sculptures that I've been talking about. They're like this big, super cute. If you've seen any of my last videos, you know I'm enthusiastic about these. Yeah, okay. Come here. Okay. Okay. Say hi everyone, hi. Say hi. final commission custom artwork i love it i've never done this size before and i think it's really nice it's satisfying it's not too large it's not too small and very easy to install i just use one of these like sawtooth hangers and a flat back but you have this nice kind of bubbly belly it is a blend i'll come a little closer it's a blend of three different purple hues and that way it's just a little more dynamic than having just one color throughout i just i'm really happy it was a lot of fun to do this process again it had been quite some time and there's always something very satisfying 
but also nerve wracking when finishing a commission. So I still am waiting to hear back from the buyer. I don't foresee any issue. It's exactly what they had requested. And yeah, it'll feel good to have this shipped off, but also I don't know how to describe it. It's that it's really wonderful to sell my work, but I all it's it's like giving away a little part of myself each time, which sounds so negative and it's not a negative experience, but it's just kind of uh, emotional in a way. Sh share some of my packaging process when I get to it, but I do use biodegradable plant-based packaging peanuts for that extra cushion to prevent the artwork from getting damaged during transit. And then I also like to wrap my sculptures, whether it's in tissue paper or for this instance, it might be, I might use paper or I might actually use fabric. And that way it's protecting it from any dust, debris, within the package like from the peanuts also i know some people hate packaging peanuts and honestly i do too but um in the past it's been for environmental reasons so i feel really good about using ones that are plant-based and they completely disappear um, what would the word be they disintegrate in water so for me it's been the best option better than like the bubbled plastic shipping um, cushions and paper is just not bouncy enough my work is on the heavier or can be on the heavier side so crush, crushed up paper or like the paper shreds just flatten out and end up not giving it enough cushion and support during transit but I will say for like my little sculptures, I can definitely get away with the shredded unbleached paper, but it just depends on each piece that I'm shipping. So yeah, oh, I just love it. sweaters <laughs> you being silly 
Yeah. I've put on Yo Gabba Gabba for Luna and I was just about to mention how complicated the journey is of trying to accomplish something with a baby borderline toddler. Um, <laughs> yeah, I've just, I've gained so much patience since I've become a mother. It's, it's pretty wild. I just, I've learned to just accept when I have to like stop what I'm working on midway to go to her, play with her, nourish her, comfort her, whatever it may be. Uh, it was really challenging at first because Mark and I actually talked about this this morning. We both are really driven artists. And when you get in the zone with your craft, your passion, your artistic pursuit, you just want to dive in and go for hours and hours and hours. And that is not possible with a baby um, and no like childcare or daycare or things like that. So we've definitely just been on a journey of accepting lots of breaks, a lot of interruptions, and so much of it's really fun, like nap time. I look forward to it every day because it's like this nice break. I get to lay down with Luna and help her fall asleep. And I really cherish those moments. So it's not a negative journey, it's just complicated. Today is the, um, the final push to finish the micro mini slurp sculptures. I am so close and I just need to wrap it up, photograph them, film them, uh, finish uploading them onto my website. I have the listings already made and I just need to upload the images. And since these are smaller and a lower price point, I'm actually only listing them on my website. I will not be listing them on the, the gallery, Singular, that represents me or the online marketplaces that I sell on just because they are lower price point and those platforms do take a commission. So when one, seems like when one project ends, another one just like falls into my lap and I'm so grateful for that but it can be overwhelming at times. But yeah, the day that I finished this purple commission in this video, I got an email from an art consulting firm about an opportunity with a luxury hotel in New York City, which huge. Um, and so we'll see if that comes together. It seems really yeah it seems really promising and what's fun about if i were to have a piece at a hotel in new york city is that i'm i'm from new york well my childhood was in los angeles west hollywood and then we moved to the outskirts of new york city Ooh. and so my family still lives there like all of my childhood closest friends all are in the city in brooklyn my sister and her husband are in the city brooklyn and so I go there quite often. And even some of my friends from college who aren't New Yorkers have ended up in Brooklyn. So I have a huge community there and it would be the first time actually where I would make a commission um, that would be like a part of a permanent collection and I would get to see it in person because so far the ones that I've made are like on the other side of the country or even like out of the US and I just don't know if I'll ever actually see those in person. So I am hopeful for this New York City one. Um, actually, I kind of have two New York City commission potential opportunities. One with the luxury hotel and the other would actually be a private collector's home who, um, I can't share too much, but I will just say that this person is a prominent figure in um, pop culture and like definitely shaped my childhood. And if you told my childhood self that I was proposing a large scale commission piece, 
uh, I would I would just be shocked. It's pretty wild. Uh, so if that comes together, I will let you know who. Actually, I'm not positive I can let you know who it is, even if I get the job. But we'll see. It's just it's pretty special. So, anyways, I'm gonna jump on into this, and I yeah, I'm just. It's a good week. It's a good week in the studio. You know, there's ebbs and flows. And I feel like sometimes I'm so overwhelmed with like way too much going on. I didn't prepare myself well enough or things come up that I didn't anticipate. Or other times it's like so slow and boring. But that's nice because I can focus on other things in my life. But this week feels good. It feels like a balance of finalizing some things that have been in the works for like a month or two, as well as just spending quality time with my family. I think we're gonna do maybe a walk today. Uh, if not today, definitely this weekend. And yeah, as usual, thank you for joining this journey. Yeah. <laughs> which is not, it's quite unusual for me, to be honest. I have meetings every week, but they've been consistent today. And some were marketing oriented, while others were art opportunities. And the one that I just got out of, I am so excited about. I was invited to sell my artwork on the platform First Dibs. Some of you might be familiar, um, others may not, but it is a very reputable and very established luxury online marketplace. And it's, you can apply to sell your work there or you can be invited. And so I got an email last week. I just met with them over the phone and we've confirmed the partnership. And so I, the next step is just setting up my page where I can start selling my artwork. And so they they sell luxury goods from fine art to furniture to jewelry and some really beautiful and impressive artists are on this platform. And I feel like it's a pretty big milestone in a way for me uh, to now be a part of this platform. And I did ask, I was curious how they found me. I generally am curious how people find my art. It's also just useful information and uh, they couldn't confirm 100%, but they believed that my work was shared amongst their team through seeing my work posted uh, somewhere on social media. So the power of social media is really, really shines bright for me in my profession. 
So now that my meetings are done, I am, Mark's playing with Luna right now, but I am gonna take her back in my space and I'm going to finish up this, getting this commission ready. I'm gonna package it up. We're gonna ship it off tomorrow. The buyer loved it. And it's always so nice to get such positive feedback. And yes, anyways. <music> Is significant because this house when the power goes out you lose heating and you lose water we did have some water that we could use drink wash our hands flush the toilets kind of but um, that was just what was in the pipes because the house we do have well a well but the house uses electricity to pump the well water as we're using it. Just feel like living in a heavily forested area, like our outages aren't that uncommon. So to lose your heat and your water, and it's a, an electric stove, so you can't, if we had a gas stove, we would still be able to use it. So it's just not something we're settling with. So we'll definitely get a generator and maybe address the situation further in the future maybe we install like a wood stove as a backup heat source so that was an interesting and cold night so i'm back online this morning i am just editing my photos i do use canva it's not the best editing platform for photos it's much better for like graphic design purposes but i do find like they have a background remover tool and i find it ooh, useful for this purpose my computer doesn't have enough storage for a program like photoshop and i just don't feel like using mark's computer for some something simple like this so i am editing my images and i'm going to get these online and then i think i'm going to make a reel to announce the launch on Instagram and TikTok. I'm not sure yet. I'll see what I have time for because I'd like to launch it in the next few hours, but between Luna and um, other work priorities, I'm just not sure, but I'm really excited. I definitely either way will launch these today. And I think they look so cute. I love seeing them in my hand just to give scale and, oh, they're just a door.
someone I'm not really into Do you need to fix it? Talking bullshit Who's gonna save you? Who's gonna make you?